So I got my Roland SP404 MK2. I got it yesterday. Um, super excited about this thing. I've heard so much about it and I finally got mine yesterday. And I went to go get the skin made for the faceplate today. And so I went to a, a local graphic design place uh, around the corner of my house. Um, they did the design and they did the printout for me and they used the template from the Roland website. So uh, this is what they gave me. Um, I don't know how it is when you order it online, but this is what I got. And so as you can see, uh, the cutout for the knobs is right there. And then for the screen and then the little squares uh, are where the pads uh, come through. And it uh, came out to 75 bucks. Um, I know it's a lot, but when I looked online, it was 50 bucks uh, from one of the websites. And then it was like $3, $8, and it went as high as like 30 something bucks to get it like uh, sooner, like next day delivery, express shipping, I don't know. And so I figured, hey, might as well just get it done on the spot, right? And so, first word of advice, when you do it, make sure that you take out all of the excess stuff off. So all of the squares for, uh, for the pads and where the knobs go, where the screen goes, make sure you take it all off. Um, silly and lazy me, I tried to do it with a couple of them on because I was too lazy to take the squares off and a couple of them were still on. And then I also, I tried to do it like this, straight down, okay? I think it would have worked, but uh, like I said, I left a couple of the squares on and so I couldn't see clearly and it was a little confusing, right? Um, I did it with the faceplate off, obviously. I wouldn't do it with the whole thing with the pad still on, that would be dumb. But uh, when I did it, like that, um, again, the best thing I can tell you, the best advice I can give you is take all of the excess stuff off, okay? Uh, I left a couple of them on, it didn't work. The second time I did it, I tried to do it like it says on the Roland website where you put the skin flat and then you lay this next to it and then you start pushing down on the edge and you push, 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 and then you roll it and you press and then you roll the other side and you press, right? And that was fine until uh, I didn't, I, I guess I didn't press correctly right here. And then when I tried to fix it, I tried to take a little bit off so I can fix it and it got stretched. And so this whole top part got, top part got messed up. And so uh, this is actually the third one uh, that I did. And so I took my time, I went real slow. Okay, so I went really, really, really slow. I made sure that I pressed on all of the edges, okay, around the cutouts that I pressed correctly so that there would be no uh, air bubbles, okay? And there's still a couple of air bubbles. I don't know if you can see that, but yeah, you can see that. There's a couple of air bubbles right there and it's mostly around the edge, so just make sure that you press down all the way and that you take your time when you do it. And again, the best advice I can give you is make sure that you take all, that you take out all of the squares and all of the excess stuff that will not be going on the faceplate. That's the best advice I can give you, okay? So yeah, that's just my two cents. Uh, if you have any suggestions, any thoughts, then uh, feel free to share in the comments. All right, so ready to make some beats. Um, catch you guys next time.